in Virginia, they just now said that they are banning TikTok. So I think they are the 17th state that are doing it. And they said for every state issued um, computer, phone, laptop, whatever the case may be, they are banning TikTok, bro. And y'all know why, right? Because they didn't already found out enough information to see that some people have been looking at their stuff. Like, and he was like, nope, not anymore. He was like, it's a security breach. If, um, because based off of the information that they have, it's seeming more and more like some people are looking at their stuff like, hmm, okay. All right, we studying everybody. Virginia was like, nah, bruh. And I believe while one president was here, they also wanted to ban TikTok. <laughs> hey, but they ain't going to talk about that one. When one president was, uh, was here, they wanted to ban TikTok altogether from the U.S. <laughs> I wonder who that is. I'm not going to say their name, though. Hey, and also, just to remind y'all, we are still sponsored by BlueMonsterPrep.com, guys. We are still sponsored by BlueMonsterPrep.com. If you haven't had a chance yet to go to their channel, I mean, go to their website, BlueMonsterPrep.com, and see what they have, um, go there. Just check it out. Peruse. The same way you go to Amazon, go there, okay? And if you're ever thinking about purchasing something from Amazon or from Target or from Walmart, see if Blue Monster Prep has it first because... I mean, I'm not going to get into all of the American first, America owned, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, and also, it would be extremely beneficial toward your family in the event of an emergency or catastrophe. And they got the best customer service in the world. Patrick and Gina, shout out to them. So if you see anything there, feel free to purchase some peruse, man. And if you buy something, make sure you put in code LFR so you can get free shipping all across America. Tonight, Texas Governor Greg Abbott has banned the use of the social media app TikTok on all government-issued devices over cybersecurity concerns. Several other states and the U.S. military had previously banned the popular Chinese-owned app. We get more now from CBS's Jeff Begays. Yeah, I see what's happening, right? People are starting to get hip. They aren't, people aren't only just talking about it anymore. They're, they're being about it. They're doing something about it. And um, shout out to them for doing that, because what's the point of having the conversation about certain breaches or potential breaches, but you're not going to do anything about it? The social media app is a viral sensation. But today, Texas Governor Greg Abbott became the latest state official to ban TikTok from state phones. I didn't know he was the latest. I thought VA was, I thought Virginia was the latest, but I'm going to, hold on, hold on. We're going to check that. Calling it a security threat. The big concern that Chinese intelligence officials could force TikTok, owned by Chinese company ByteDance, to share the vast amounts of data it collects. In a letter announcing the ban, Governor Abbott wrote, TikTok harvests vast amount of data from its users' devices and offers this trove of potentially sensitive information to the Chinese government. Now, does this mean that um, citizens will start to take, uh, take the, like, he's taking the lead on this? But would they get the whole point and see how serious this is? Because that's that has to happen. If they if citizens don't start to see how serious this is and they start following suit with their personal devices, then I mean the government is going to be protected, but people are going to be you know they saying, look, we didn't found out already. This is not good for business. Like somebody's watching and harvesting vast amounts of your data. They're harvesting vast amounts of your data. So what are you going to do about it? The federal government or the state government, what we're going to do is we're going to stop people from using it on devices that we know have um, sensitive information on it. So let's see what happens because yes, in the citizens equal kids, if that's happening, y'all need to take that seriously because you know what I mean? If, if the government can, um, takes these type of actions, knowing, knowing what could potentially happen between their relations between that country and ours, uh, then you need to understand that it's that serious and you need to make those same moves for you and your family. I'm just saying. Texas joins Maryland, South Dakota, and South Carolina in banning TikTok over the past week. TikTok is one of the most popular social media platforms in the U.S. 
It boasts millions of users. Yet for years, the intelligence community has had concerns about how TikTok data is being used. They also have the ability to uh, collect data through it uh, on users, which can be used uh, for traditional espionage operations. TikTok denies that it shares data with the Chinese government. For some of the governors, if they take a step back and look and they say, well, what are the threats that we wanted to do, then maybe they should consider banning all social media apps from government phones. In hmm. a statement, TikTok added, the concerns driving these bans are largely fueled by misinformation about our company. This battle over TikTok data is the subject of high-level negotiations with the U.S. government. TikTok has now offered to move that data to Texas, but Nora, that is a deal that the U.S. hasn't accepted. Now, um, listen, this trend is going to just continue to spread far and wide. I, I wanted to see Virginia bans, um, Virginia bans TikTok. Because this right here is um, spanning far and wide. And they're doing this because it's their job to, it's literally their jobs to make sure all of their citizens are good. Uh, what I was about to say is um, Virginia was the reason why I even jumped into this because I saw something on, um, well, my son sent me something today from, um, and now my wife's calling me. Um, Virginia, dang it. I, I just need to do this one thing. <laughs> uh, my son sent me something from TikTok today of the news interviewing the governor of Virginia, Youngkin, Youngkin, I believe that's his name. And he was talking about, yeah, this is what we're doing. So I don't know what to tell you, but this is what we're doing. This is exactly what we're doing. We're banning this. In today's tech fights a new push in Congress to ban TikTok in the U.S. Lawmakers have introduced bipartisan legislation amid growing national security concerns that the Chinese-owned app could be used to spy on Americans. Now you see that? This is becoming something, man. The bills in the House and Senate would also block other social apps from China and Russia. Apple has released a new app, Freeform. It's a virtual whiteboard that lets up to 99 friends work together on an infinite canvas. Freeform can what? be used on iPhones, iPads, or Macs. And finally, some new features. That's so tough. But yeah, that's the story, guys. I have nothing else to say until I go check out what this guy wants at my door. So I'll see y'all in a minute. Um, don't go anywhere. All right. But for everyone else that's on the video watching this, y'all like and subscribe and all that other stuff. Love y'all, man. See you on the next video.